brush my teeth when my mama come me down, then I go and eat. I used to dream about being Martin Luther King, that I could be free and live my dream. This love, this hate, is burning me away. It's hard to times like this that never change. I changed because I was first anti-social when I first came to this camp. I didn't talk to nobody, I didn't get to know people, I didn't crack jokes, I was just quiet. I just sat there. And from that point to now, I've changed a lot. I don't know, even know how to explain it. It was like a different person came back home. It was like he was just uplifted. He's uplifted. I am so glad that, you know, he, that they gave him the experience that he needed. It feels good to change when it's a good change. At first, I was really serious. And then I started to loosen up. And I started to be, like, enjoy myself more. And I could see I was enjoying myself more. I've grown a lot. Now I'm just got a lot of adrenaline and stuff. Happy. She seemed more relaxing. I'm like, she got back. I ain't even about to tell her to vacuum or nothing. She vacuumed. What's going on? <laughs> I think it's very important for inner city students, inner city kids, to be exposed to different things and push them out of their comfort zone. If it's camp, then definitely camp should be one of an option. This city is very dangerous, but it is also beautiful. But it has a lot of violence and gang members. You know, you hear about the violence in Chicago daily, especially in the summertime, especially during the weekends. The change in the world is very strange, but when we all come together, it will still be the same. The change in the world is very strange, but when we all come together, it will still be the same. You know, would I feel comfortable for her to walk to the park? No. I'm just walking down my street. I probably got to worry about a drive-by. At night, if you don't know where you are, you shouldn't be out. If you don't know how to watch yourself, you shouldn't be out there. There have been shootings uh, all around. Can't you be good? Can't you be bad? Can't you, can't, can't you very far range? Because I know a girl that was in like high school, she got shot in the head because she was in the middle of a gang. And I don't want to get caught in the middle of that. I don't want to be a victim of violence. So it's best that I go other places like camp to make sure that I'm safe. It's real nice to come and play. You, you don't have gunshot too. Inner city youth, those kids usually don't make it out of where they grew up from. They usually stay there their whole lives. And I see that camp changed them. And they went from troubled kids to the beginning to kids that always listened, kids that were positive about the future, and kids that really cared. Makes them set goals, makes them want to be something. I meet new people that are from across the world or from a different state. You can feel a sense of family and solidarity amongst each other because we work together all the time. Everything that we do at camp, we do it together as a family. It's hard to talk. To the house in the woods because if you want change, maybe you should. You should eat fast, the food ain't bad, because when you go home, you will be mad. House in the woods is the best. Come back next year and beat the rest. I get to be a kid, but a mature kid. Like, I get to do things that, like, I never done before, but like, I got to do them in a mature way where kids get to look up to me. My job, discipline, I like that stuff. Kids that fight, I get to um, I get to talk to those and fix the problem between the kids and stuff. And I like, I, I really like doing that type of stuff. And I like that feeling when people look up to me, make me feel like, make me feel like a superhero or something. Camp has made me become a leader, and it's made me become somebody who wants a better future. The last night where. Um, everybody shared what we liked about camp. Um, it was about like what we are going to miss while we're at home instead of at camp. I want to go back to House in the Wood because it made me grow as a person. And like, I mean, 
and I keep coming back for the kids. Hope to be a counselor one day. You know, I thank God for that. And uh, she will be there next summer. <laughs> I am extremely thankful for House in the Woods. I have somewhere safe for my son to go in the summertime, somewhere I know that he's going to become a better person, a better leader. When he leaves, he's going to continue on throughout the year. More kids need that experience. They have to get away. They have to get out of the city because they will remember it. Thank you. You're the best person in the world because even though my family didn't have enough money for camp, you helped me go to camp and I really wanted to go to camp. House in the Woods is the best. Come back next year, beat the rest. <laughs>